Hello again! Cardinal Carly here to show you how to generate an HCM report within Cardinal. During this tutorial, I will be demonstrating the steps needed to generate a specific report. However, you will find that these steps are applicable to all HCM reports. For more information on the various HCM reports you can generate within Cardinal, please refer to the HCM Reports Catalogs located on the Cardinal website under Resources. Let's get started! First, you will want to successfully log into Cardinal. Once logged in, the Cardinal homepage displays. From the homepage, click the navbar icon located at the top right corner. The navbar panel displays. From the available icons listed, select the menu icon. The menu list items display. Please note that the available menu items displayed here will be based on your specific user role and security access. Click the Time and Labor list item. The Time and Labor menu items display. Click the Reports list item. The Reports menu displays. From here, click the Summary of Productive Hours report list item. And there we are, the Summary of Productive Hours page. There are two tabs available on this page, Find an Existing Value and Add a New Value. This page will automatically display the Find an Existing Value tab. Within the Search Criteria section, you can search by Run Control ID. If this is not the first time generating this report, always search for and use an existing Run Control ID before creating a new one. It's worth noting here that you cannot delete a Run Control ID once it's been created and saved. Let's go ahead and add a new value. Run Control IDs serve as a name for a set of save report parameters. Before I create this Run Control ID, let's go over the guidelines. First, the Run Control ID must be unique and should be descriptive enough to help you locate it for future use. Secondly, the ID can consist of up to 30 characters. This next guideline is important to remember. Run Control IDs cannot consist of any blank spaces between characters. However, you can substitute a blank space for an underscore character. And lastly, wildcard symbols, for example a hashtag or a percent sign, cannot be used in the Run Control ID name. Now that we've gone over the guidelines, let's create our unique Run Control ID. Once you've created your Run Control ID, click the Add button. The Summary of Productive Hours tab displays. We see that the Run Control ID we created is displaying at the top of the page. The parameter fields are located below and help limit and define the specific data requirements for the report. Please note that the parameter fields available will differ based on the HCM report you are generating. Fields with an asterisk are required fields. The parameter fields may consist of lookup icons, calendar icons, or drop-down boxes. Let's now enter the parameters for the Summary of Productive Hours report. Once all the parameters have been entered, click the Save button. The Summary of Productive Hours page refreshes and enables the Run button. Let's click the Run button to proceed. The Process Scheduler Request page displays in a pop-up window. This page identifies the report being requested. If there are multiple reports shown within the Process List section, make sure that the correct report and the corresponding checkbox for the row is selected before continuing. Let's discuss the various fields located within the selected row. The Type field will default to Web. You can update this field to Email, File, or Printer as desired. If Email is selected, you will need to use the Distribution link to identify the email address to send the report to. The Format field will default based on the report that you're generating. You can update this field to other formats as needed. We will leave these fields as they are for this report. Once all updates have been selected, click the OK button. We return to the Summary of Productive Hours page. The process instance number that has been assigned to the requested report is now displaying on the top of the page. You'll want to take note of this process instance number for future use. From here, we need to click the Process Monitor link at the top of the page. The Process Monitor page displays and is used to view all reports that you have submitted. This page is also used to review the current status of each report, as well as viewing the generated reports that have successfully completed. The View Process Request For section is used to specify the requests that you wish to review. You can optionally define search criteria to limit the reports displayed in the Process List section. You can also choose to clear any defined view parameters by clicking the Clear button or reset back to the last saved view parameters by clicking the reset button. We will need to locate the applicable report within the process list section by using our process instance number that we previously captured. 
Cardinal will not automatically update statuses. You will need to click the refresh button periodically to generate status updates. The run status shows the completion progress of the report. The distribution status shows if the report is available for viewing. Once the run status field is updated to success or error, and the distribution status field is updated to posted, you can then view the report. When the two status fields have updated accordingly, there are two ways to access the detailed report. The first by clicking the details link, and the second is by clicking the actions drop-down box. Let's click the actions drop-down box. If the report has completed with a run status of success, click the view log trace list item. If the report has completed with a run status of error, the message log list item can be used to review why the error occurred. From the actions menu items, let's click the view log trace link to proceed. The view log trace page displays in a pop-up window. The report information will display on the top left of the page. Use the links within the file list section to view the generated report in the desired format. If the report file is not what is expected, check the parameters to see the specified values. Click the corresponding link within the file list section to view the generated report. And that's a wrap on how to generate an HCM report. I hope you found this video helpful. Please refer to the Cardinal website to access our resources like the HCM reports, catalogs, or job aids for more details. Thanks for joining me, and have a wonderful day.